Hi, today I'm going to show you how we can create ND Pact app using MIT Admit. So, first I will show you the demo, how we can use that app, and then we will create this app step by step using MIT Admit. So, here we go. This ND Pact app saved my phone. So let me just show you how we can create this. It's a very basic app. So just click on start new project and my project name is Antifact. So that's my first screen. So I'm going to design that simple app here. So what I will do, I will use your two buttons, one and two. And I'm going to use your one text box. So text box is from here. And one more button to submit that text. And simply make all these things in a center. Like this. You need some label to make some space between all these uh, buttons like this. So you can just drag and drop that uh, like this. Cool. Now we need one. Uh, we need one sensor here. So in the left side you would find the sensors. This one is sensors, and you can see here the orientation sensor. Just drag and drop this here like this. Now click on that uh, button and just change that to a stop alarm something. And then in that one first button, you can just say on. And in the second one, you can just say off. Like this. And make the, all these buttons at, like, at least like 70%. Like this. And you can change the all background color also. Something green. A little bit. To make it, yeah, it's it going to be a green one. And text will be a white. Like this. And make this one also something uh, with is around 70. And then same thing, we have to just change the background color. So we'll make it red and make this text white. Like this. Cool. Now that's the text box. And in the hint text box, I'll just say enter password or just say password. Like this. And the stop alarm button will be something pink. Oh, sorry. Text should be white. And the color will be purple is fine. Like this. Now we need to change that background color of that. So I will just choose any background color, something. Uh, you can choose the background image also. So I'm going to use here one background color and let's just make it a little bit darker, something like this. So whenever we click on the on button, so whenever someone try to pick up your phone, so alarm will ring like uh, uh, you can set any alarm. Okay, so what I will do, I will just download one alarm sound here. So I have that sound file. So I'm going to use that file in the app here. So in the left side, you'll find the media option. And you need to drag and drop here from player like this. And click on source, click on upload file. And just drag and drop that file from here. And like this. And okay. Now that uploaded, fine. And now put the block section. So what will happen whenever the uh, open our app or whenever the screen will in a slice. Or you can see whenever they click on the button 1. So which button 1 is this one. Whenever we start our alarm or whenever we start protecting our phone so we need to click on button one so whenever we click on button one on that so we need to we need to use your orientation sensor so what will happen we will get the role value okay so whenever someone try to pick up your phone so role value change will be and it will be increased from 10 to 12 or 20 or 50 so what we will do whenever the role value is greater than 10 then we will uh, we will raise the alarm okay so when orientation change okay so what i will do here i will create one variable here and it just say the role okay and the value is like maths and is zero when it's starting and whenever we change the orientation so we will get that role value like this we will set that value in any label okay so i'm gonna set that value in one label so go to the design or you can set this value in label one so level one dot text is like this and this one is like this okay and we will get that value here set that value like this cool now we need to use here one condition is go to the control just drag and all that if and the if the click the maths and you will see here that uh, if the value is greater than okay so it's a less than this should be a greater than if the global value okay it means the rule value is greater than the 10 okay the rule value is greater than 10 then we will ring the alarm so it's 10 and the 
player you can see here click on the other player and you will see the player will start like this okay now on the button one click we need to start the orientation sensor okay so orientation sensor and you see the enabled this should be true okay like this call link this and just copy paste this and in the on button to click we need to make this off orientation okay now go to the design section click on orientation sensor and you see the enable should be unchecked like this go to the block section like this now on button 3 click so why this button is 3 because whenever they start the alarm we have to stop that alarm if we are the authorized person so we know the password so what we will do i will set the static password here you can change that uh, change that password also so on button 3 click so we need to submit the code so if we will use it again condition it the text box so see the text box one dot text this one so we need to use your maths again and the value and it just say if the text box one dot text is equal or you can use the logic to compare the string okay so just use that green one remove that from here is equal to one two three okay so we just say here the text value and just put it here and just say one two three four if equal to four then we will stop that alarm see the player and then stop it like this if the password is wrong then we will not stop our alarm cool and you can see that's our app here and that's the mobile phone and let me just use your sensor this option and let's whenever someone pick up our phone okay so like this and see the virtual sensor and let's move the role value it means someone try to pick our phone so whenever the phone is moving somewhere like this okay the alarm is not ringing the why the why is because we have to enable the uh, orientation tension so first we will just move this in the base okay in the in the center like this and then just enable this first and now let's move see alarm is ringing now we need to stop this to stop this, we need to put password. Now, how we can stop it? The problem is that, you know, whenever we stop that alarm, this value automatically will detect again, okay? So, how we can avoid this? So, it's simple. You need to disable the orientation sensor. This one again, okay? So, like this, just call it here. And make sure this should be false. But to change the value, we have changed that value here from here. And then we change the value. See, era. let's put the password. Alarm is off. Okay, so that's the amazing app. Okay, if you need any help on that, so just comment on the video. You can hide that uh, text box value also from that we have display here in the one. You can hide that uh, that label. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. Please, please, please subscribe my channel, like this video, and share this video. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye bye.